Hello, we're missing so many of you here at HURC um, while so many activities are not happening. But over the next few months, we're going to post just a few videos that we hope will get you involved. And today we're thinking about light because it's that time of year where lots of people celebrate Halloween. And as Christians, we don't really celebrate Halloween because certainly the way the world celebrates it is it's all about celebrating darkness. It's all about celebrating things that really are not that nice. But we believe as Christians that Jesus is the light of the world and light is so, so important. So we're going to have a bit of a competition. What we'd like you to do is see how many different sources of light you can find around your house, your garden, in the community. Um, write them all down and let us know how many you get to. You can post it on the, the Facebook discussion under this video and we'll see who can get the most. Maybe you can find 10 or 20, even 50. We'd love to see what the most is. And if you're anything like us, actually, there's, there's quite a lot of different lights around the house. You've got your kind of standard lamps like this one, but we've also got fairy lights. We've got things like a, a fire that also gives out light. You get those little LED buttons on things, don't you? See how many you can find and let us know. Light is so, so important, isn't it? Light helps us to see things as they really are. If there's a power cut, you might run and go and get your torch. And that helps us to see, doesn't it? It stops us from like banging our heads into the wall or tripping over something on the floor. The light shows us everything as it really is. And light can warn us as well. You know, maybe you've been to the coast on holiday and you've seen a lighthouse. Um, a lighthouse helps ships out at sea to see this is somewhere where there's rocks. They should stay clear of where this lighthouse is and make sure they go around a safe way. Light also guides us, doesn't it? It helps us to see the way. You might be thinking of kind of if you're walking down a dark road at night and you know you've got to follow on, that the light shows you the path. Or I've got an aeroplane here. You know, when an aeroplane comes into land, particularly at night, it's guided by lights. It can see the lights all the way along the runway so it knows where it's got to go. That's quite important. And light also attracts us. You know, maybe you can imagine looking outside on a cold, dark evening. And, you know, if you're outside looking in and there's a fire and the lights are on, it looks so inviting, doesn't it? Or maybe, you know, we like we really like smelly candles in our house. You know, there's something quite wonderful about the light that comes from a, a flickering candle or a very fancy pack of fairy lights that look really nice. You might be getting ready to put those up for, for Christmas soon. Well, as Christians, we believe that Jesus, as the light of the world, does all of those things. He helps us to see life as it really is. He helps us to see that actually God is with us all the time in our lives. You know, we don't live in a world that just we're kind of just left on our own. God is here. God is with us to, to share life and to talk to us. Jesus, as the light of the world, warns us a bit like a lighthouse. You know, in the Bible, he tells us things that we, we can do and we should do and other things that we should avoid because they're not good for us. And Jesus can guide us, you know, a bit like the aeroplane coming into land. He says, I am the way, the truth and the life. He's saying, look, follow me. If you want to live a life that is full and exciting, then you need me in your life. You need to go the way that I've laid out for you. And Jesus is also really attractive. He draws us to himself. He wants us to, to know just how much he loves us and just how much he cares for us. Hi everyone. So, we're talking about light. We are going to make our own glow-in-the-dark bottle. So for this, you are going to need a bottle. You can use any bottle. I've got a few different ones here that you can try. And if you've got a different one altogether, this is just a, a fizzy pop bottle. This one's just a bottle of squash. And this one's a milk bottle. So you can use any bottle that you've got, it should work. So what we're going to do first is you're going to need a marker pen. Preferably black, because that will work a little bit better. But all of mine are purple, apart from the red one. So I've gone for purple today. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw something on your bottle. So we're talking about Jesus being the light of the world. So that's exactly what I've written on my bottle. Jesus is the light of the world. And I've drawn a cross on either side and a love heart to show that Jesus loves us. 
Same with this one, I've just drawn across. This one's not finished yet, but you'll get the idea. Once you've done that, you're gonna fill these up with water. If you prefer, you can use rice just to anchor it down a bit so that they don't blow away in the wind because ideally we want to put them outside. So I'm going to fill these up with water. If you want to, instead of drawing on the bottle, which you will need your grown up to help with if you're using marker pen, you can instead um, Use tissue paper and glue and decorate it that way. Stick things on the outside of the bottle and make it look really nice. It's totally up to you how you decorate your bottle. So let's just fill this up. Nearly there. So the water will help the glow stick last a little bit longer. If your glow stick does stop working, you can put them in the freezer and when you take them out, just re-snap re them a little bit um, to make sure um, that they glow a little bit stronger. So I've got a pink one. Mine are quite small, if you can see. You can get long thin ones or you can get big thick ones or this is just what I had. So this is what we're going to use. If you are struggling to find glue sticks, you can get them in the works for a couple of quid. Um, but if you're really desperate, you can always contact us um, and we can see if we can get you one. So don't be afraid to shout and, and tell us that you need one. So that is glowing already. I'm not sure if that's coming up on the camera. Apologies for the mess in our kitchen, by the way. We are having an extension and it's a little bit crazy. So give that a shake. You can see that glowing already. I'll turn the lights off in a minute so you can see properly. So I think I'm gonna use two. I'm gonna put two pink ones in mine. I'm gonna drop that in. You can see that glowing already. So we'll use the other one. And then I will fill up one of the other bottles that are clearer, see if that's any better. You can do a better job of yours because I'm doing mine quite quickly. Don't want to keep you forever. Give it a shake. There we go, nice and bright. Pop that in. So I'm going to put the lid on and then I'm going to turn the light out and we're going to see if it works. So see, you can see it glowing already. So let's give it a whirl. Now I think this will be much better in the dark when there's no light at all. You can see it glowing there. So if we fill the other one up, with me while I fill this one up. There we go. So that's that one filled up. Just pop the lights back on. So this one's an orange one. Give it a shake. Over there. Don't bend them too hard because if you snap them, it will go everywhere and it can ruin your clothes. So just be really careful snapping the glue stick, the glow stick. And if you need a grown up, don't forget to ask one. Pop that in there. I think this one will show up a little bit better because it's a clearer bottle. This one's um, not see-through. This is a little bit harder to see that. And that's why it will work better if you've got a black marker. I'm going to whiz those lights off and as you can see that one actually works a little bit better so let's see if we can find our cross and it should in the dark when it's really really dark it should light up to show your design off so we'll pop that one in pop the lid on And there we go. So there is your light craft. So have a go. Let me know how it turns out. We would love to see your pictures. 
So I'm going to share with you a couple of pictures. So one is the um, milk bottle with the lights in it to show you that it does work in the dark. I've checked it, which is great. So it looks like the milk bottle, actually, the one that's not clear and see-through, is the one that works the best. So definitely give that a go. The other option you've got at the craft is to buy a pumpkin and to carve it. Now, Alfie, Teresa and Jonathan have done an amazing one with a, it's a love heart and a cross on it to show that Jesus is love. And I think it's amazing. So if you want to carve a pumpkin and show us your pictures, that would be amazing. Okay, have an amazing time. Bye. So while lots of people are celebrating Halloween, I'd really encourage you to celebrate light, Jesus as the light of the world. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.